Hey, so we're back up in the studio, and we're about to lay down some Slick Lick series um, groove um, using a number of instruments, actually. You can't even see everything that's in the picture. On my right, I have an LP Jimbal. I'm going to actually pick it up and show it to you. So this is an LP Jimbal. It's a Brazilian drum. I don't have it tuned like you would normally tune a Jimbal, which is much higher than this. And down... On my right, I have an LP djembe, also kind of medium tune, not very high. And I'm sitting on my cajon. And of course, you can see the tumba doors in front of me. And on the side, I've got a little snare drum thing happening. I have a little cocktail kit that a friend just uh, turned me on to, actually. I just acquired it from him. It's, he's a great drummer, by the way. And uh, he had no use for it, so he, he kind of, you know, let me, let me get it, and I'm finding uses for it. You know, I'm a percussion fanatic, so of course I'm finding uses for it. So, putting together a groove that's using all the different sound palettes. Snare, jambal, djembe, cajon, and of course the tumbladores. So here's what the groove sounds like. Context, you might want to have a crazy sound palette like that. Uh, so it's not really just about the particular instruments that I got here, but it's about creating a diverse sound palette while doing an ensemble type playing with some independence uh, and creating a groove. So that's the whole idea. It's not obviously it's not brand new and ain't the first time it's been done. But again, it's some of the things that I work on, and I'm sure most percussionists um, work out different things to increase their vocabulary and what they can add to a particular musical setting. So, same thing I'm doing here. I'm just stretching out a particular groove um, by using different sound uh, elements uh, on drums, but different sound elements, different styles of drums that have a different sound palette, and creating a groove. So here we go. that but it's not. Basically, slow down. So it's starting right here. same concept. But what you end up with pretty phenomenally is you get a whole sound texture thing going on because of the different timbres of the different drums. And if you can lock the groove down and the music is, you know, apropos to that particular groove, of course you'd have to create one for the music you're playing. But if it, if it works and it fits, just another idea. So that's what the Slick Lick series is about. It's about creating ideas and sharing stuff that you might be doing. Uh, I'm putting mine out there. So if you're doing things that's interesting or things that you think people want to hear or want to check out, 
Uh, there's no secrets in the universe. Come on, throw it out there, and let's, uh, you know, have a percussion family and share. All right, peace out. One more time. Thank you.